Oh my god, you guys, I love iced coffee. I love iced coffee. Okay, we are filming a Will I Buy It video. Are you guys excited? I'm excited because, holy mother of God, <laughs> there's so many exciting new launches. Also, you guys, I recently found the Instagram account called Target Does It Again. So, so good. So, so good. Definitely, like, if you're a Target junkie like me, you should follow Target Does It Again on Instagram. I will try and remember to link her Instagram down below. I'm assuming it's a girl. Okay, you guys, this is so funny. So, Trend Mood just posted this, and I knew JD Glow did some multi-chrome shadows, but these things are so freaking pricey. Oh my god. They're $16 each, four shades. They're so pretty. Look at this picture. Oh my god. But I think they had like a bundle for $75 on their website, and I was like, mm -hmm. So, not gonna buy it, but it's beautiful. And the other thing is, I bought Blush Tribes multi chromes when they first came out, and I still have not used them on my channel. So, I need one of you to like literally hit me over the head and get me to actually go into my collection and use some of the products I have. But the other thing I did, and I'm so excited for this because I've always wanted to try JD Glow's Galaxy Shadows, and I bought some because they recently had a sale. So I'm gonna do a swatch party video on these for sure for you guys, and then I will try and get my act together and review these for you. But I did see Amy Loves Makeup, I think, has a review slash swatches on it. So if I can remember, I will link that up in the cards for you guys so you can check that out while I try to get my review up for you guys. Okay, she just posted this. Farsali is coming out with a rose gold skin mist. It's a four in one wonder for skin infused with rose hip seed oil, 24K gold flakes. It instantly adds a burst of hydration to the skin. It's $39 and will be available March 12th. That actually sounds yummy. I am like starving for hydration right now. I'm wearing this like very matte foundation. And when I was looking at my face in the mirror, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like my face does not look hydrated. And thank God for the Laura Mercier illuminating foundation that I picked up recently. I love that. And I think that one makes my skin look more dewy, but I'm testing out this other foundation and I feel like my skin could look a little more, you know, wet. <laughs> so that I think would be fun to try. I'm not a huge fan of Forsali, but I think that product sounds cool. Jeffree Star is restocking his blood sugar palette. I have the blood sugar palette. It's one of my favorites and it's one it's my favorite palette that Jeffree Star's done. I just think it's a beautiful color story. I wish the packaging was just like regular packaging, but you know Jeffree Star, he has to be extra and I get it. You know, it pops. It's a cool palette. So if you guys have been eyeing that, definitely try and grab it. It'll be in stock March 8th on his website at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I just saw this the other day. Smashbox is coming out with a new collection. It's called the Crystallized Collection. Honestly, this is one of those collections that you almost just want to buy something so you can have the limited edition packaging. It makes me think of the Vlada collection because that particular collection also had really beautiful packaging and people were going nuts for it because the rose was so beautiful, but nobody talks about that collection anymore. And it's probably because it wasn't very good. There's not a whole lot from Smashbox but, that I love, but honestly, this packaging blows the Vlada packaging out of the water. So I just had to tell you guys about it. So they're doing a cover shot eye palette and some liquid eyeshadows. They're also doing a highlighter, a primerizer, and a photo finish primer water in Love Ritual, whatever that is. And all of this will launch on March 6th at Smashbox and at Ulta. So interesting looking collection. I'm excited to see reviews on that. I won't be picking anything up from that collection. Maybe if it goes on sale, maybe. So Vizier just came out with two little palettes. These are called their Petite something, right? I can't remember. And these are Beautylish exclusive. So there's two different palettes. There's Soleil, which is rich purples, berries, pinks, and a warm yellow. And then Apricot teeny which is more of like the basic brown kind of palette these are $30 each I was honestly so tempted to buy the yellow one because it's so beautiful and I think Beautylish had sent them to quite a few youtubers that I follow 
and so many of them posted videos on the day it launched and I was like oh so cute 30 bucks I should buy it but honestly I had my eye on so many palettes for March already I was like okay Karen like let's think about this because I just bought the Sugar Crystals palette I bought the new Charlotte Tilbury palette which I'm so excited to dive into I want the Riviera palette when it comes out and I think I might get the color brand palette so I've already got so many palettes that I got my eye on oh and then I bought another palette that I'm gonna talk about in this video so I have so many palettes to test out already that I need to just pass on Viseart and I feel like I have all those shades in the Viseart palettes I already have and I don't really like their shimmer shadows so I'm okay passing on that Everyone, I think, is so excited for this J. Kissa Elf collab. I've heard so many people say, like, why hasn't ColourPop collab with J. Kissa? I think, I don't subscribe to her, but I know a lot of people really love her because she's, like, cruelty-free, and she's, like, one of those bigger YouTubers that's actually doing something about cruelty-free makeup and things like that. Like, she's more outspoken about brands being cruelty-free. Also, she uses a lot of color, and I believe she doesn't wear foundation, so she's, like, a triple threat and this palette honestly looks beautiful the picture of her with the eyeshadow look is gorgeous I think this is so cool that she came out with a affordable collab that's cruelty free and really kind of true to her because a lot of the times when you hear bigger youtubers talk about their collabs they always say they want to do something that's them and just from the little I know about Jay Kisa, I feel like this is very her so very exciting. I won't be picking this up, but it's coming out March 5th on e.l.f. Cosmetics and Ulta Beauty. It's so crazy because I feel like all of a sudden March just like, March is like, I'm here. I'm here. All the spring releases that you've been waiting for, they're here. So it's kind of crazy. Um, so NARS came out with a whole collection. I don't know where this came out from, but it's kind of funny. So they collaborated with Connor Tingley, I believe, and he is a rising Los Angeles-based artist who specializes in abstract drawings and life-size oil painting so I think the inspiration behind this is gorgeous NARS does this all the time and it's very unique I don't think a lot of other brands do this the only other artist collaboration I can think of is John Michel Basquiat and Urban Decay and that was a really cool collection too so this is really cool definitely not my vibes but I can see that this is another collaboration where it's very true to the artist because they've used his art on the packaging and then the eyeshadow palette the tones seem very similar to his art so very very cool that's already available I won't be buying it but you guys can definitely check it out. So. Kat Von D is coming out with a new member to her liner family it is the cake pencil this is a creamy vegan with a pencil with an intensely rich pigment waterproof and comes in three shades 19 dollars each. I've kind of been debating getting a white eyeliner so this might be interesting to try. I'm not one of those cult followers of Kat Von D's Trooper. I've never really been into her eyeliners but I do want your guys' recommendations for a good white eyeliner. I was tempted to buy the one from Colourpop but I have some Colourpop eyeliners so I thought it would be fun to try new brands so if you guys have any suggestions of your favorites leave them down below because I would really appreciate that and that will launch on March 15th. So if you guys don't know this, I actually love Kale Polish and I very recently found out they're going out of business so if you guys have ever wanted to try them, I'm actually wearing Kale Polish right now. This is from their winter collection. It's like the most beautiful shade of blue. But don't feel bad because it looks like she's coming out with a new nail polish brand called Lights Lacquer. So very excited to see how that goes and I actually just bought some nail polishes from the brand Mila and Ella or something. It's like this cute little brand and they also sell at Target but they were having a buy three get two free sale on their website so I picked up some of those nail polishes and I'm excited maybe I will feature them in like a monthly haul and give you guys a little update once I try them out. Here's something I'm kind of interested in again because I'm just doing anything to get my skin hydrated and these are the Cover FX Booster Drops. They are for bridging skincare and makeup. The collection includes four innovative clean formulas for $45 each. A little bit steep on the price tag, but 
Um, so they're doing a brightening booster, there's a mattifying booster, there is a superpower antioxidant booster, and then a SPF 30 booster. So I think the brightening one sounds interesting. It's going to launch on March 3rd, and you can get it at Sephora or Ulta or CoverFX's website. So I might keep an eye on that. Sounds interesting. Definitely not something I'm going to run out and purchase, but I think that's so cool that they're trying to do something skincare, but you can also use it underneath makeup and not look like a mess because your face is super oily and your makeup's moving around. Okay, so here is the other palette I have already purchased in the month of March. It is the new collaboration between BH Cosmetics and Daisy Marquez. I actually don't know who Daisy Marquez is, but I did think this was an interesting color story. I love some good BH Cosmetics and I just thought the packaging was cute. My friend did text me and she's like, don't buy that. It's going to look dusty on you. And I should have texted back saying, too late, I already bought it. But um, I don't know. I think it's interesting. I feel like the shimmers are very light and then the mattes are like very deep. If you look at this picture. But I feel like it has potential and BH is so affordable. I don't mind like buying something and if it doesn't work out, I'll just sell it on my Poshmark. So. Linda Halberry is coming out with some new new. She is doing a H2 Glow Face Mist and an Eternal Eyeliner. They are vegan and cruelty free and will launch on March 4th. So I actually have purchased from Linda Halberry. I ended up return not returning. I ended up selling her palette that I bought because I didn't love it. But her mood crayons are right here. I use them every day. They're so nice. I'm wearing the yellow one in my waterline right now. So it would be fun to try out her eyeliner, but she does not ship in the US. So all her products come from Sweden. And so it's a little bit pricey to buy from her. So this isn't something I will be buying right away. If I ever decide to order more stuff from her in the future, maybe I'll do like one big order. But for right now, trying to trying to cut down on the overseas orders so no Linda Hallberry for me right away so Morphe just launched this looks like a summer collection to me I don't know oh yeah it is their summer collection it's called dripping bronze get your bronze on okay so the eyeshadow palette is $25 liquid luster drops for $25 mini highlighter drops Glam Bronzer for $19, uh, Deluxe Face and Body Brush for $24, and then a Lip Gloss Collection for $32. I feel like all those price points are a little high for Morphe, but I feel like, you know, Morphe is one of those brands that can survive anything, so they can, like, survive hiking their prices and people will still, I feel like, buy their stuff. I don't think this collection is bad by any means. The eyeshadow palette reminds me a lot of Zoeva's brown something palette. I was interested in the bronzers, but then when I went online and looked at them, I did see they were $19 and I was like, I don't need a bronzer that bad. So I'm going to pass on all of that, but it is a nice collection. I mean, I like that they did something different with the packaging on the eyeshadow palette and stuff like that. So here is another palette I've already bought. This is the new palette that we're launched from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Iconic Palette with 12 shades and they also launch Latex Love Liquid Lipsticks. Those look really fun but I don't need another lipstick guys. Let me show you the palette. So here is what the palette looks like. It literally just came in the mail today so I'm very very excited to play with this and how gorgeous is the packaging. So that baby was $65 and I bought mine on Sephora. Okay guys, if you made it all the way to this part of the video, I just want to throw in a little secret giveaway for you. So I just have a little bag of goodies full of stuff that I want to send to one of my subscribers. I will leave the rules down in the description box. Just so you guys know, it's not like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. It's just a little, little something to say thank you for the support. So I hope you guys will enter and let's keep going with these new makeup releases. Okay, so here is another exciting launch for summer, spring, summer. I don't know what this is, but this is the new one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are launching an eyeshadow palette, thank God. When I saw the quads, I didn't think they were awful. 
But I'm one of those people where if Anastasia launches something, I want it. So I was like going back and forth. I'm like, I should buy it. I should buy it. I'm like, really? I'm not buying a 35-ish dollar quad for four shadows. Like that seemed a little excessive. So I'm glad they didn't make us wait too long to give us a palette. I'm excited about the packaging. The palette looks fun. Anastasia hasn't really let me down. The only palette I regret buying was probably the Subculture. And I actually just rebought the Soul Tree because it was on sale. Oh no. So I'm excited to try that out. And I won't be buying any of the loose highlighters. I don't really love loose highlighters. It's not really my thing. I love the packaging. It looks beautiful. And then they have a dewy set makeup finishing spray creating a dewy finish. I have so much Fix Plus. It's like coming out of my eyeballs at this point. So I'm going to wait on that. I don't really need it. The one thing I do want to point out is the glitter is actually just the packaging. There is no glitter in the setting spray, which is good to know because I was like traumatized from the Glitter Fix Plus that they launched like last summer. So I was thinking that this was like similar and I was like, oh no, thank you. No, thank you. Come again. Okay, so ColourPop did collab with Zoella. I don't think I talked about this collaboration in my last video, did I? I don't know. So, um, I actually didn't buy anything from this collection. I did look at it because I was curious, but pass. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. So excited for this. I don't know if I need to buy any more lipsticks, but when Huda does lipsticks, I get excited. So she's doing a new matte power bullet collection. It's called a rose collection and they're comfortable. Maximum pigmentation, cool and warm tones with a diamond shaped tip, which makes it easy for application. And they're 25 bucks each. Ooh. <sighs> okay, so some of these shades are really gorgeous. I'm kind of eyeing graduation day because that's like my kind of nude. And this thing called like third date or something. Really pretty rusty red color. Packaging is beautiful. These launch on March 14th. So I will be keeping an eye out for those. Let's talk about Color Rain. Oh my gosh. They're coming out with their palette Safari Rain. They had teased this quite a while ago and it is finally coming out on March 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Color Rain's website. I feel like maybe they've kind of figured out how to price things. I felt like a lot of their palettes coming out were initially very overpriced. This one's priced at 39, which I don't think is terrible, but it is only nine eyeshadows. A lot of people have said this one reminds them a lot of the Juvia's Place Tribe palette, which I get. So I love Colored Rain so, so much, but I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes from them. So I might try to wait on this and not just buy it right away, but you guys know me. I'm kind of a sucker for a good eyeshadow palette and a good formula, so I might buy it. They're also doing some lipsticks, some lashes, and some brushes as well. So good for them. I'm excited for Color Grain. Next, the brand Ciate is doing a limited, limited edition collab with Jessica Rabbit, or the character. And so they're doing a eyeshadow palette, a creamy powder highlighter, and a glitter storm lipstick. I didn't grow up with the character, so it's not really anything that's like intriguing me. But it looks beautiful. I'll give them that. The packaging is beautiful and I've heard good things about Ciate, but it's not something I'm going to be running for by any means. <laughs> okay, so this palette, I didn't get to talk about it in a previous Will I Buy It, so let's talk about it now. I already bought this, but this just launched from Violet Voss on February 26th. Super duper beautiful. It's actually the palette I am wearing on my eyes. If this look is not already up, it should be coming up soon, so definitely subscribe to my channel. So you can see how I did this and if I like this palette or not. Okay, everyone kind of talked about this and I think this would be a fun primer to try. Milk Makeup is doing a Hydro Grip Primer. This is a hydrating long wear makeup primer for $30. You guys know I'm not really into primers, but if it's hydrating and also going to make my makeup stick to my face better, it might be worth checking out. Okay, guys, I think everyone and their grandma lost their shit when this was announced. Urban Decay is collabing with Game of Thrones. If you don't know what Game of Thrones is, I feel like you're not human because everyone knows Game of Thrones and they will be launching this collab April of 2019, which isn't even that far away. So we're excited to see what it might be. I have a sneaky feeling just based off of the pictures they're launching that it's going to be another blue orange 
palette, but I'm hoping they'll do some fun like duo chromes and stuff because obviously like the dragons and stuff. So that would be kind of cool if they like whipped something out, but I'm not, I'm gonna like have really low expectations so they can exceed my expectations. That's, that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay guys, I do want to talk about some indie brands as well really quick. So Certify is now taking pre-orders for the Affinity 2 palette. This is going to ship sometime around April 18th. You can use the code Anjeshka to save 10%, I think. I can't remember. There's a few YouTubers I watch that have codes for Certify. So if you're planning on picking this palette up, you definitely should use a code because hello, you get to save some money. I personally won't be buying this palette because I have one of their palettes that I'm still yet to try out and I've made a rule for myself, if I have something from the brand, I need to try it out before I buy more stuff, so I won't be buying that. But this shade selection looks beautiful. I feel like it's been done a lot of times, but I'm just going to keep that to myself. So I'm excited to see all my friends review it. Luxie Beauty just launched their new shades. This is like their summer collection, I guess, and you can use Joy 10 to save some dollars off, I guess. I don't know. It's a $60 bundle. Angel Angelica has a code for them as well. Um, it's cute. I don't love all the shades. Apple Teeny looks beautiful. Not That Deep looks beautiful. Other than that, I feel like I have a lot of these shades, so I won't be buying them. And I am still to review the ones I have, so that's going to be a pass for me. The next thing I want to talk about is this new palette from Love Lux Beauty. This is the Pretty Powerful palette launching March 8th, but there will be an early access email on March 2nd. And you can use the code AMYLOVES to save some money on this palette. Now, I did buy some of those, like, glittery, gl <laughs> glittery shades with, like, the white specks in them. And I wasn't a huge fan. And I feel like every time I buy something from Love Lux, it's not my favorite. So I won't be buying it, but if these shades appeal to you, maybe you should check it out. Okay guys, last thing I want to talk about today is the Pisces palette by BH Cosmetics. I actually just got this in the mail, so I will have a swatch party video for you guys, hopefully soon. So definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see that. But I kind of like this. I mean, the pictures look really fun, so I'm excited to try it. As I said previously, I'm a big fan of BH Cosmetics, so excited for that. Okay guys, that is everything for this Will I Buy It video. I'm sure it'll be a gajillion hours long and I'm gonna have so much fun editing it, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.